Okay. Buckeye and Sky News here. Filming the memorial in Pataskala, Ohio. My hometown. Going to do an audit. And see if the city of Pataskala obeys the Constitution and honors my First Amendment right to film in public. Got the dedication pavers all over the walkway here. Lovely little gazebo. Guard lot. There's the boy. You can't film me. I'm in public. You can't film me. I'll sue you. Why they're flying at half mast today? I'm not sure. I think it's because of the uh, um, was it San Antonio shooting that just happened. I believe that's why. Which I believe, if I read it correctly, I would have to check up on this. So don't take it as fact until you do your own checking. That the flag should only be flying and flown at half mast if it's a president, a president's wife, or if the president himself okay's it. For certain people to be flown, flown at half mast, I believe that is the rules and regulations on flying a flag at half mast. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm always willing to learn something new. Eagle Scouts, A little placard right there. Eagle Scout Project by Jeremy. McIntyre, 2017. Oh, glory. She's looking a little ratty on the bottom there. They need to get that replaced. And how badly wind ripped that thing is. Of course, we have had some storms up here lately, so. I'll check back in a month or so and see if they've replaced it. But this is the little parking area and um, public areas for the city of the downtown area, city of Pataskala. forgot to mention the date. Today's date is May 20th, 2018. 4 p.m. Oh, looky there. Yeah. An old Charger, Challenger, couldn't quite tell. A lot of those old muscle cars look alike, but damn, they're sexy.
front and main. We're now entering downtown Pataskala. Pataskala Post, that's our little newspaper, a little rag. Tax now. Good man runs that, I know him personally. His name is Ron Knitz. If you need tax services, he's a good man to use. Oh, some shade, nice. The, hey, the Pataskal hey, Banking Company. 1925. I remember being a kid coming into that bank. It's got one of the old time lobbies with the stairs up the front and everything. It's really nice architecture inside. <laughs> old style buildings, the old country buildings right in downtown. I love this little town. Usually they shut it off right there at the train track and they set up a street fair once a year that runs all Side street, just a couple more businesses over there. Chats Auto Service. Uh oh, cam back. We got a cam back? set up the Patasco Street Fair every year. In about a month and a half, this place is going to be crowded with rides and vendors. This street, the next block over that way, and then on down behind those buildings is another street full of rides and vendors. They normally set the stage up right there at the railroad tracks, right on the side of them. They do uh, live music every night, square dances, all kinds of fun stuff. The local fire department does a, uh, uh, a nice um, charity event where they, they do uh, like a dice game where you gamble. And the proceeds go to help the victims of fire. It's a very noble cause. Here we got Griffin's Floral. It's Sunday, late afternoon, so they're currently closed. But I think you can see why I love this little town. Now I will go ahead and say this is my very first audit, so all I'm doing is walking around in public and seeing what happens. Just kind of walking down the eight or nine blocks it is from one end of where the street fair is to the other, and we'll see what happens. It should take about 45 minutes.
Adkinson in Maine. Let's cross over the inside of the church. Okay. And we'll come back across. Actually, we'll do. Yeah, we'll, we'll go down and we'll come back across up this way. One of our old, beautiful old limestone churches. There. We're going to be coming up on the police station soon, fellas. Yep. The old city hall, back when I was a kid, it was the old city hall. It'd be that brick building right right down about there. Wait for the traffic to clear. Most of these little houses down through aren't just houses, but they're, they're businesses in the front. Yeah, kind of a sign of a small city trying to grow up. Mm-hmm. This is the First Presbyterian. Ah, some more shade. Oh, no kidding. I'm my shot. Okay. Clearly staying on public sidewalks the entire time. There's sidewalks both sides of the streets and I don't believe at any point I'm going to leave them. Yeah, their little side courtyard. Oh, there's a black. What's your zoom like? I'm on a phone. I'm pretty good. Where's it at? I don't see it. Uh, on this broad brick wall at your 11 and a half. Oh, I see it. Okay, so my son pointed out the fact that there's a plaque up here. I think he needs glasses. That's somebody's driveway, I won't get into that. I'll go back out to the main entrance. <clears throat> There is more to this town, but it's out on the big state route. And it's got all the big stuff like Kroger, uh, the grocery store, um, your pizza shops and stuff. But this is the old downtown. Ah, here we go. There's the old, the original, the task of the police department station. Uh, interesting thing, in the, in the attic of this place, they have a movie theater. Oh, there's an advertisement right there. The Patascala Cinema. I'm not sure if you can make out the sign. It says the Patascala Cinema. And they show black and white movies like two or three times a week. They, uh, they show old black and white movies. They show some Three Stooges. Uh, during the fair, they do Laurel and Hardy, Three Stooges, Abbott and Costello, stuff like that. You're free to come in and go all the way up sit there as long as you want watch the movies again they've got the flags at half mast here too on the old this used to be the courthouse as well but they moved it all out onto the main state route as well That would be the Patasco the Methodist Church. Had a couple of friends get married in that there church. 
the other side of the old police courthouse, police house, courthouse. Uh, actually, I think it was everything, sewer and water. I think everything was housed in that place. Everything, uh, city of Potasco lies from mayor's court to, you know, paying your water bill or whatever, anything to do with the, the local government was done there. City council, everything. But they've all moved most of those things. This is just the, the actually place, I don't know what you call it, like a reserve parking and reserve auxiliary building and a uh, drunk tank maybe because when they arrest you, they don't take you down to the one on um, the main state route. They bring you here to book you and hold you until the local uh, sheriff can come pick you up to take you to the big house. So, beautiful little town. Love this place. I don't think I've ever really had any issues with the police here other than doing their normal jobs. They've always been um, pretty much respectful. Um, I don't know if you anybody knows the name or saw the story about an officer named Wills, I believe his name was, Wills or Willis. But this was one of the, the one of the places he worked and he was fired from here for abuse. He, uh, while, a, while a suspect was in custody, cuffed and being held to the ground, he ran up and kicked him in the side of the head. Um, very violent. Absolutely no way this man should be a police officer for any place. Um, so they ousted him, he's gone. He got a job at another place and he just was fired or resigned rather from there for basically the same thing excessive use of force even his uh um cohorts and co-conspirators didn't want to work with him they said he was violent aggressive and uh when cops start talking about other cops like that you know there's a problem with that cop then i remember Climbing on that there very rock when I was five years old. Been around this town a very long time. There's the sign for the cinema. If I got to the side, you might be able to see it. School of Cinema. Yeah, I don't know what to call you. I've just been calling you boy. Same thing I've been calling you since you were a baby. <laughs> so there's the boy. Maybe we can make it Buckeye boy. However you want to call yourself, that's what I'll address you as, because I know we don't want, in case the thugs get our hold of our cameras, they can't ID us off of that. What do you think? You want to go back up to the tracks? No, I'm going to go down this way. There's a couple of businesses back this way, and there's the old, the old firehouses back here too. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, it's either right on the left or right on the straight through here. You're on the right. Obviously, on the public sidewalks. There you go. News now I was taken. Yeah. There's the side of the back and side of the police department. The old way back in the day, the courthouse. Over here's the old fire department. I heard something about it. I'm not sure what's going on though. They're building a new structure right behind uh, town hall. Over another another gang gang member meeting hall. 
There it is. Back when, back when Pataskala was just a little bitty town, that was enough to handle the whole place. Just that little tiny thing. You can't even get one of today's fire trucks in that thing. <clears throat> Howdy. What a beautiful day, huh? What's that? You got a raccoon loose out here? You're not supposed to see raccoons out in the day. That usually means they're rabid. He's been out here for quite a while. Oh, yeah? Hey, he, he probably thinks you're his neighbor. <laughs> I don't know. He's over there right now. Oh, there's one of our cops now. See? A wave and drive right on by. Like I said, most of the time these cops around this area are really good. This is the staging area for the Pataskala Street Fair, which is usually held mid to late August. That's where they park all their generators and stuff to power the whole thing. That big open parking lot there. I know the lady that lives there. And she does not like the fact that that the, the generators run all night long beside her house. But what can you do? They do give her uh, free tickets to all the rides and entry and everything to the police to the uh, to the fair to kind of make up for it. So and then uh, let's see here. Get across the street with the other guys here. That public over there? Yeah, this is this is where they park the generators for the Potaskal Street Fair. Oh, oh that must piss the neighbors off. Yeah. Libby didn't like it. That, oh yeah. She didn't like it. Of course they gave her they gave her free tickets. They gave her like a reel of free tickets. They could ride whatever they wanted for whenever they wanted. I have no idea. It's been ten years. Hmm, seven, eight, eight years. This um, I'd say probably 15 years ago, Pataskala annexed a whole big area of property all around uh, back when they were a village. And <clears throat> once they annexed, they had enough people, enough mass, land mass to convert to city. And then, let's see, when they were a village, they had maybe eight cruisers all told. And these are the ones that aren't even out on patrol right now. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine of them sitting here. And there's probably ten out on patrol right now. So they've they've grown uh, more than double in the last 15 years. But for the most part, for the most part, I'd say they were pretty decent cops. There's the back side of the. Uh, um, Methodist? Is this? No, this is the Presbyterian Presbyterian Church. But you get a you get a feel of what kind of town this really is when you look on these back streets, and you just see the general areas, how nice everything kept. Everybody keeps their yards. side parking for the church main street right out in front
getting ready for a party. I think uh, I think we're going to head up here and I think I'm going to audit and see how clean they're keeping my cruisers. I'm going to take at least one walk through the parking lot. I don't see any signs that say I'm not allowed to. I mean, we just walked two-thirds, three-quarters of the building. And I didn't see anything that said I wasn't allowed to walk through their parking lot. But just to be safe, we'll get another shot of the side here to make sure there's no signs that say I'm not allowed to. public area for sitting um, oh this is part of the church okay this is part of the church they can come here and do some praying yeah this is yeah this is church property look at this it's a, a prayer setting you can sit there and pray to the cross so it's it's church property probably to that line of trees right there this is. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, what church wouldn't be open? Like <laughs> hey, we're at church. Come pray, but don't but don't come here. <laughs> come here and pray, but don't come here. But you're not allowed to be here. <sighs> Some of the undercover vehicles. You gotta watch out for those guys. They can sneak up on you. Like I said, they got like nine cruisers here. They got their own canine. 